Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. Something a little bit different today. Um, kind of playing around a little bit with uh, Whisper, WSPR. It's a subset of the modes in uh, Joe Taylor's WSJTX software. I'll put links down at the bottom so you can find this uh, <coughs> software online. However, uh, what it is, is it's a, what I call a reverse beacon. In other words, you transmit at very low power. Right now I'm transmitting at 5 watts. And uh, <clears throat> the screen will show you all the call signs, their grid locations, uh, <clears throat> you know, which is uh, the Maidenhead grid system, which maps the entire world, uh, basically. <clears throat> It'll show you those grid locations. You can look them up, you know, and, and figure out where that person is transmitting from. What's cool about this is it uh, transmits for several minutes, then it receives for several minutes, and you can uh, alter the software uh, and make it transmit more often or less often. I'll show you that when we switch to the screen. Anyway, the uh, mode is called Whisper, W-S-P-R, Whisper, that's how we pronounce it in amateur radio. Thought you'd find it interesting. Most of these folks are transmitting at 5 watts or less. There is a website that shows where these transmissions are originating from and being heard uh, on the globe. Uh, I've got the map set to my call sign only right now. And I'll show you that in a minute. You can see where they're hearing me uh, with Whisper on a world map. I'm on 40 meters right now. It's uh, what time is it? almost 7 o'clock at night. And uh, let's switch over to the screen and I'll show this to you. <clears throat> all right. I'm going to turn down the volume all the way so you don't uh, hear anything but me. And uh, what you're looking at right now is the software uh, Whisper. And it's just simply a mode inside of WSJTX. That's this software right here, WSJTX. If you remember, we're using this to uh, decode uh, JT65, JT9, uh, and the new digital mode, FT8. Uh, well, Joe Taylor just went on and built in the old Whisper software right into the uh, new WSJTX software. So you really don't have to have uh, another program that you have to run to work this mode. It's built in already. And if you look at the modes right here, you will see I'm on Whisper right now. WSPR, Whisper. That's the mode I'm using. And here's that new one, FT8, that everyone's heard about. And of course, JT49, uh, JT65, and a dual mode that basically does both of these at the same time. Anyway, uh, there's a few digital modes, some real important ones, and of course, that new. FT8, but I'm over here on Whisper right now, running uh, five watts on the Flex 3000. You can look over here and see I'm driving it with five watts right here, approximately. So uh, <clears throat> these are the signals that have been decoded already that it is hearing at my location here in not too far away from Quinlan, Texas, in North Texas. So I'm picking up these signals right here. 
and uh, you know, pretty good. Look at some of these. This one is 25 dB below the noise floor. Yeah, you heard that right. 25 dB below the noise floor. It's actually decoding it. And it heard K6 WKX over here at CM94. That's his, his or her grid location. So, uh, tr again, it transmits for a couple of minutes, and I'm transmitting right now. So, uh, let me kind of move these out of the way. You can see the flex screen behind there. All right. And uh, <clears throat> that's where I am right now at 7.038.6. That's the frequency that Whisper is transmitted on on 40 meters. Uh, you don't have to remember this. You can just go to the Whisper site, WSPR, just Google WSPR net, and it'll take you to a link. Uh, right at the top of the page. Click that link. It'll take you to the Whisper website where you can get a map. Let me kind of expand that for you here. Let's see where it is now. Just a second. Here we go. And here is me. This is W1XWX where my signal is being heard all the way down over here. You can see it's making it all the way to San pa Pablo. Uh, down here in South America, it's making it over to the coast of Africa right now and basically all over the USA and Canada on five watts. Uh, so pretty cool little function there. Uh, you can Look at your signal and determine how far it's being heard at whatever wattage you're transmitting at. Let me kind of back up and show you another map. <clears throat> we'll go back over here. Get it up a little bit. Back up one more time. And um, here at uh, WhisperNet. The website, I've already logged in. You can see I'm logged in right here. All right. And if you click these call signs, you kind of get a little information about the person uh, that's, trans that's online right now. And most of these people are, not only are they online, but they're transmitting at this time. So there's a map function that you can get to. Let's see if I can get you to that. Hang on. <clears throat> Back up a little bit. And go up here. See up here? There's a forum and there's some things you can download. You can look around this on your own. Here's the map right up here. So let's click that. Let it load up. Oh, I got to get my call center mm -hmm. down here in just a minute. Let me do that. And let's see if we can get it to load up everybody else. Hopefully. I may have to just drop out of here for a minute and reload the software. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see what it does now. Let's update it again. If it doesn't update, I'm going to close the program, reopen it, and uh, get you a look. I want to I want to give you a look at the map that it produces for whatever it uh, logs, you know, for received and transmitted. So let's let's do that right now. We'll just reload this. Let me open it up again real quick here.
And we'll go to Whisper, Nick. And there it is right here. We'll open that up again. And here we are. It's going to probably log me in automatically. There it goes. Let's try the map again. And there you go. Now it's propagating. And you get a map that you can zoom in on that shows everyone in the world that's using Whisper right now and transmitting at low wattage and where their signals are going, okay? Of course, you can zoom in on this map if you want. Let me see if I can roll this little mouse very slowly. There we go. And let's go back over to the USA, right over here. All right, and there you go. And there uh, is the USA folks that are transmitting on Whisper right now, and they're reporting their location. And the uh, beacons, all these people are actually beacons, reverse beacons. They're hearing the signals from everyone else and reporting if they can hear them. And then, of course, they're also transmitting on a uh, time frame. And let me get that back up here and kind of show you that real quick. <clears throat> you can see right here, transmission percent. I've got mine set for 15%. That's a fairly rapid uh, retransmission of uh, W1XWX and the grid location that I'm at. Uh, I can just change this on the fly if I want to. <clears throat> and I can raise it, you know, or I can lower it or do whatever I want. I can actually lower it enough to where uh, it will transmit literally every time sync period. So I don't do that. I uh, let a few time sinks go by, and then I'll set it to where it transmits maybe once every five minutes or something like that. Anyway, you can see it's still decoding those uh, call signs that it's hearing, okay? And uh, an interesting thing right here is uh, the mileage. This is how many miles it's hearing these people. So this is 1,254 miles, 1,280 miles, and so forth. Okay? So, whisper, whisper, another neat mode. Uh, you can't really talk on it, but you can use it to judge propagation. So let me get you back over on my smiling face over here somewhere right there and we'll call this one a take. So if you're interested what I use it for is I'll crank it up kind of walk away from the radio. I'll just walk away and go drink some coffee or eat something or whatever. Come back in about 30 minutes and take a look at those uh, decodes, and I can kind of get an idea of propagation uh, real time, uh, right then, of uh, where I might be able to transmit and be heard, uh, because I can look at that and see how far the signals are going and in what direction they're going. So with that said, as I usually do, I wish you clear skies and 73, and remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. I'm not going to get out there tonight. I'm going to probably watch some TV. Anyway, be good. Subscribe. Come on back and get a copy of WSJTX and start using the whisper function in WSJTX software. Have a great evening. See y'all later.